I was 18 when I looked through a telescope for the first time and the first thing I saw was Saturn. And I remember thinking, it really has a ring. To me, that was the coolest thing I had ever seen. And it made me wonder, what else is out there? Since Galileo pointed a telescope to the sky for the first time, scientists have been looking into the cosmos for over hundreds of years. Electromagnetic waves have shown us that there are billions of galaxies, trillions of stars, and inconceivable number of planets and asteroids. But that accounts for only 5% of the universe. The rest we just couldn't see, let alone hear. Well, that changed on the night of September 14, 2015. I was just a young physicist, freshly graduated, operating one of the two gravitational wave detectors in the US. At midnight, I pushed the observe button. And after 50 years of effort, humans were able to catch a gravitational wave for the first time. The world heard the sound of the two black holes colliding 1.4 billion light years away from us. This work won a Nobel Prize in 2017. Gravitational waves are all around us. They pass through us undetected. It is happening to you, me, and my three-minute thesis slide right now. Our existence is consistently being distorted. But the distortion is so tiny that even Einstein himself, who predicted the existence of these waves, doubted they could ever be detected. But we did. Scientists used light to catch gravitational waves. And light is made of tiny little photons. And if you were to zoom in all the way into the quantum realm, you will find that these photons act randomly. Everything is fuzzy in a quantum scale. It's like a sea of noise down there, and this noise is drowning out the already minuscule gravitational wave information. Scientists want a clearer signal. Last year, I researched, built, and commissioned a photon rigging machine called a quantum squeezer. Using entangled pair of photons that share quantum information by telling one what to do, I was able to manipulate the other. And by doing so, I organized this naturally chaotic sea of photons and enhanced gravitational wave signals. And with my work, scientists were able to detect 56 gravitational waves in just under one year, five times more than the previous total. And one of these waves revealed an astronomical object that scientists didn't even think could exist. Maybe now, I am closer to pushing beyond the 5% of the universe known to us. Not only because I will always be listening, but also I will be helping us listen better. Thank you.